Monday of this week, my children were the targets of attempted kidnap. Mom fluencer Kato Seren faces six months in jail after going viral what fake tale of Latin couple trying to snatch their kids. Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. First, I want to give a special thanks to all the fans that have been supportive and leaving the comments and asking me to revert back to my original voice. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving the comments below. That way the channel will grow. As you know, this channel is dedicated to giving you another point of view for all the stories that's different from mass media and big tech. I always put links to the sources in the description. The article further says, Katie Sorrent now faces two misdemeanor counts after she claimed that Eduardo and Sede Martinez had tried to kidnap her two children. She faces one count of giving false information to a police officer and another for giving false information to a police dispatcher. Each charge carries a maximum penalty of six months in jail. Latino couple Sadi and Eddie Martinez were cleared by police. Okay, let's watch the video of this woman telling her fake story. Monday of this week, my children were the targets of attempted kidnap. Um, which is such a weird thing to even vocalize, um, but it happened. Um, and I want to share that story with you in an effort to raise awareness as to what signs to look for um, and to just encourage parents to be more aware of their surroundings and what is going on around them. Um, I think right now we are so distracted by um, everything that's going on in the world that we are kind of um, have our guards up so much about um, masks and wanting to keep our children safe that way that we're forgetting the most important way to keep them safe and that is with us um, and to not have them taken. So I'm going to share a story um, in an effort to raise that awareness but it's I'm not ready. I This is hard for me. I'm not ready to share this story but I, I know it's important and I would rather be uncomfortable um, and awkward the, and get the message out sooner than wait until I feel composed because um, I don't know if I'll ever be composed talking about this. Um, so here we go. On Monday, like I said, my children were the um, targets of attempted kidnap. We went to Michael's craft store just to run a few errands, um, get some things to make some homemade gifts. Very quick trip. I have not taken my children out a lot as of late. Um, but this was just a, con a situation where we just needed to run this errand and I thought I came prepared. I brought the double stroller um, thinking I'd just throw them in, cover them up, put the uh, cover on top and just walk through the store quickly, grab our stuff and go. I only had two items I needed to grab um, and then I did a Target pickup so that was the only time we were getting out of the car. Um, so we get to Michael's. I park as far away as possible. Um, in an effort to not inconvenience others with our big stroller. That's what I, that was always my go-to. Whenever I brought the double stroller, I'd park far away so that people wouldn't um, be frustrated with me taking forever getting the stroller in and out. Um, that is the first thing that from this day forward I will be doing differently um, if I ever choose to bring my kids out again. Jeez, this woman sure does say the word um quite a bit, but why would you want to lie about something like that? Oh yeah, she wants what they call internet clout. Essentially, she wants to go viral so she can get more followers. Now, let's watch the video of the response of the people that she was claiming tried to kidnap her kids. Racism was alive and well in 2020. Sadie Martinez, a Petaluma mother of five, had much to say after she and her husband were accused by Katie Sorensen in viral videos of trying to kidnap her two kids at a Michael store in Petaluma. My children were the targets of attempted kidnap. Swordson said Martinez and her husband had followed her and her kids inside Michael's and later tried to grab their stroller in the parking lot. To get up and go shopping one day and then be accused of trying to abduct, abduct somebody's children is heartbreaking. Petaluma police noted inconsistencies between Sorensen's videos and her initial statement to officers. Investigators interviewed Martinez and her husband, a UPS driver. In a statement, Lieutenant Ed Crosby said they denied the allegations being made against them by the reporting party. To date, the investigation has produced no evidence or witnesses corroborating the account provided by the reporting party. Evidence gathered has served to support the account provided by the couple from the store. 
Because do you really think it's okay to go online and be racist and, and make stories about a, a family? It's hard enough to be a Latin family in a white community. Martina says she understands why police put out this surveillance image of her and her husband, but doesn't like it. Unfortunately, we have targets on our back because we were labeled this, regardless of what's true or not. Martina says she wants Sorensen prosecuted for filing a false police report. The Katie's of the world, it stops here. I'm sorry. It, it's not going on anymore. I don't blame them for being pissed off about this. I would be super, super angry. It could put you in a lot of problems, legal problems, if something like that would happen to you. And then you got to get your name cleared from this. It could essentially devastate your entire life because sometimes the cancel culture doesn't care if the story was false or not. Well, I hope that justice is served and she gets what she deserves for doing this. And what about you? What do you think? Leave your comments below. I really want to know what you think should happen in this case. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.